Hi, my name is Lori Hanna. I'm here at the University of Dayton, and my project is the Solar Autoclave. Um, this is the Solar Autoclave that will be implemented in Nicaragua. It's a solar cooker design, uh, so it has the reflector that reflects the sunlight down into the oven. Um, inside, we have a tray that the instruments will sit on, um, and we've added some reflective panels to really focus the sunlight. And then in the final design, there will also be a lens on top to further focus the sunlight onto the tray um, that will sterilize medical instruments. In Nicaragua, um, in the rural areas of Nicaragua, the health clinics don't have electricity. They don't have access to electricity. Right now, the health clinics, the nurses, have to travel to sterilize any of their surger surgical instruments. And in addition, they have a limited number of instruments. So if they only can get their instruments sterilized once a week and they have more than one surgery a week, they um, are forced to send their patients away or to use the contaminated instruments. So a solar medical instrument sterilizer solves this problem because you can have on-site medical instrument sterilization without having to use electricity, using only the energy from the sun, which they have plenty of. This project started off as my senior honors thesis, but since has been um, expanded into many different parts of the university. One part is the University of Dayton School of Engineering Design Clinic, um, in which this project has been a design project for the past semester. Um, we've been working on improving the design of the cooker, um, an autoclave. The other part of the project is the School of Business business plan competition. So we entered this project in the competition, uh, went through all the steps, wrote the business plan uh, for a business in Nicaragua by the local community that we're working with there. We entered the competition, we actually won. This project has the possibility of greatly affecting this local area in Nicaragua and then the model can then be used to similarly spread the technology and the idea throughout the developing world. So I'd really like to thank the Jimmy and Rosalind Carter Partnership Foundation for their support on this project. Um, as you can see, it's really going to have a big impact, so thank you again.